Well, as long as they're credible. You want it to be JSA, PSA, or TriStar, basically. Or Leaf, but... You want it to be one of them big four, or even Beckett. They're doing it now, I think. Those are the only four I'd ever buy of and from. And Fanatics Authentic. Boy, do they have some dope Chris Bryant stuff. Look at Fanatics Authentic's website for Chris Bryant stuff. They got stuff with like ba black background signed in that really cool blue pen stuff from Bryant. Ugh. I got to get me some of that. What am I thinking? Here we go. This is Soloptic. Soloptic. Oh my god, Heather! <sighs> I get a haircut Thursday, man. It's driving me crazy. <sighs> Yeah, Mock. Mock might trade you that.
Come on, Mark. You do hair, Grammy? All right, I'll be right back. <laughs> All right, no trades. There you go. On the screen before you. AFC North for Heather. NFC West for Mock. AFC East for Heather. Um, NFC South for Carter. Kaboom. Mock, you got the NFC East. Heather, you got the AFC South. Carter, you have the AFC West. In Heather, you have the NFC North. There are no trades. May the hits be with you, my friends. And holy freaking crap, dreams do come true. I thank you guys for allowing me to do what I love to do. And I mean love to do this. Some people say it shows. I got some fancy packs. I'm going to give you each a fancy pack. We'll random them. Unless you guys can figure out. I'm going to put them up and I want to see you guys fight over them. You guys have to divvy them up and come up to an agreement as to who gets what. Here's what we're going to do. 
We got this. This is late night fun. This is what we used to do. We still do it. Just saying it was more common when we first started back in the day. Um, here's what we're going to do. This is going to be the break. This is going to be Grammy's box. So this is Grammy's box. Right here. If Grammy can beat you guys, how could he beat you? Let's see. It's probably not going to be crazy low numbered stuff in that classics. I want to figure out a way to have Grammy take you all on here tonight. Um. We'll have some silver packs. Maybe one of these. Those are these are like literally like gold nowadays. So rare. Can't even get them anymore. They're gone. I don't know, I'll have to think of something here. Grammy's classic. There's a blue fill up to one forty nine. So, Grammy, that's your box for you. Well, that's a good idea, Mark. He, but I mean, you got more packs. You got a box of Optic and a box of Select. He only has one box, one classic. So, choose think maybe we'll choose the optic because it's similar packs three four five ten yeah so if Grammy can get more classic packs Grammy will get a silver if Malk gets more classic packs Malk gets a silver pack if Grammy gets the lowest numbered card completely we will random a gold to everybody Number to 99, Sheldon Rankins. All right, so we're looking for Cowboys. So you guys are playing for a silver pack. And then Carter and Heather. I'm going to give you each. You're all getting a silver pack, no matter. I'm going to. You're all getting packs. So don't worry about that. You're all getting packs, but this is a side hustle with Grammy versus Mock. to see how many Cowboys he gets straight up Cowboys cards not numbered or you know commons count Oh, Heather's Heather's getting inside the head of Carter Kaboom. Talking some smack. Well, that's what I'm thinking. I'm trying I'm thinking out loud. I don't know, I make this stuff up as I go. I haven't started revealing the cards yet, so it'll come to me. Carter has the NFC South and AFC West. Heather, you have more divisions, though, so you have more chances. <laughs> Side hustle. You know it. Carter. 
Carter has NFC South and AFC West. Damn. AFC North, AFC East. Carter likes the tops pack, so I'm going to put in a top specialty pack. Albert Poopholes. This game is still on. It's the bottom of the 11th. Poopholes up to bat. Base is loaded. I just came for the breaks. All right. So Grammy and Oz are fighting to see who's going to get the most uh, Cowboys, which is dope. And then Carter Kaboom and um, Heather are going to battle it out. Angels win. Dude couldn't catch the ball. Just bounced off his head. Pujols with a game-winning RBI. Beats the Sox. <laughs> Pujols wins it. Wow. So I'm going to put in a baseball pack. Heather and Carter... Whoever gets, we'll just keep it like we always do, the lowest numbered card. 149, Sam Bradford. So you guys got to keep track. So that's NFC North, Sam Bradford. We're going to do it in select though. Because I don't keep track in all this optic. Since Carter has less divisions, he gets to choose from optic, Heather. You get just in select because you have so many teams winner gets a tops pack I gotta look for Cowboys okay here we go game on Jason Witten Tony Romo there is a Gary Barnage to 199 Ed, are you in Pittsburgh? That's where Heather's what used to be. I grew up in Harrisburg, Ed. Did you know that? Two ninety nine Duke Johnson Browns. Come on, hot box. Tyler Urban blue to 149. Carter, are you watching for your cards? You got the NFC South and the AFC West.
Two Cowboys so far, Mark. Charles Tapper. It's weird because I didn't even really know her. 299 NFC West. I remember the game Tapper in the bars. All right, so we got two Cowboys so far, Mark. You're not looking, not doing too good. Grammy could sneak up on you with his box of classics. And for Matthew. There is a Zeke, cow Cowboy number three. Franco Harris, dopeness. Oh, we've been doxxed. NFC East for Mark. Man, well, that was a lackluster freaking optic, huh? <sighs> Don't forget to send your money, friends. Please. For this break, $39 each. Do not let my ADD get the better of me. One, two, three, Cowboys. All right. Heather and Carter. There's a Roger the Dodger. That's four. Or did I say it was just optic? Okay, I just said optic because Grammy's pack. So four. I mean three. Grammy, you got to beat three Cowboys. Le'Veon Bell. Grammy, all you got to do is beat three Cowboys to beat Mock. And I don't mean to interrupt, but I think I asked earlier, and maybe you left or didn't hear, but do you work with Hogan? Like, do you live there and work with him, or do you travel? It doesn't look like you travel like some of the other guys do. Like, you see your friend, do you live in the same neighborhood as Hogan and work with him every day, or what? With that freak. I love college football, too. I would probably marry college football if it was a marryable thing. I'm already married to the NFL. I'm saying if I could marry college football, I would. Just because it's so exciting. Sometimes the NFL, it is a little boring, let's be honest. It can be a little... Sometimes a little slow and boring, especially if it's like, you know, the Bengals and the Chargers or something. College football, there's never a dull moment. They just want to win. They ain't worried about taking knees and punting. They're like, no, let's go for it. Let's run it up. Oh, nice. Gabriel, I stopped doing fantasy, dude, because this was the first year, this season that just ended, 2016 NFL season, was the first year in 15 that I didn't do fantasy. And I have to be honest, I actually enjoyed football more. I had more time. I wasn't rooting against my own team to, like, score or not score. I felt, I found myself, like, 
not caring about the game as much and caring about fantasy and getting mad like and it, I'm telling you man it was a, it was a world of difference not playing fantasy this year I could enjoy stuff I had so much more time I wasn't on my phone every 2 minutes looking up stuff There's a Will Fuller AFC Souther for HG well, that's a 75er, uh, Carter. You're an hour northwest? Okay. But you know what I mean? I didn't do fantasy this year, dude. And I, I tell you, I had so much more time. I wasn't constantly rushing to do my roster or make changes. Or when I'm hanging out with all the guys watching football, I'm not constantly having to check my phone because my other friend made the same decision to not play so we could actually... Just enjoy ourselves. Daryl Worley. AFC South for Heather. Man, Carter, you're getting your butt whooped. Eli Manning to 125 NFC East for Mock. Yeah, Hogan used to bring the entire fracking crew in here. 149 AFC West for Carter. So 149. Did Heather have a lower than 149? She does with Will Fuller. She's got you beat with Will Fuller at this point. Pittsburgh Steelers, Kevin Green to 49 AFC North. HG getting old school Kevin Green to 49, Heather. Speaking of Pittsburgh. Oh, team owner, Leonard Fournette. I'm pretty sure that was Leonard Fournette. I forget where Leonard freaking went. My brain hurts. You remember watching KG? Yeah, I think he went on to the Panthers then too or something at some point. Tony Romo doesn't count. JJ Watt, 125 AFC South. So Carter, looks like we missed you out on that one, dude. Heather's got you beat. So Heather gets a Topps specialty pack. And Grammy and, I, and Mock are going to battle it out. It's going to be close. I mean, Mock has three Cowboys. Who do you root for college football, Ed? Steelers? I mean, um... Panthers? Don't be offended, but that doesn't seem like a fun team to root for in college football. They haven't been in powerhouse since the 80s. <laughs> Heather, as many spots as you bought, you can have the gold. You won the contest. Carter? You could have a tops. I told you all get packs. Heather in her 64 spots she bought today. She gets a gold. Carter, because you're dope and you ask me every night about the specialty packs, I'm going to give you one of those. And Grammy and Oz, or Grammy and... Mock are battling it out. Looking for Cowboys. Carter, how's it? Wait, is that you who's getting married here shortly? Notre Dame, yeah. Okay, every other night. <laughs> 
I would say every three nights. <laughs> every three nights, I'd say. That sounds approximately right. October, yeah. I wonder where you'll be on your wedding when the Cubs win their second World Series in October. That'll be kind of cool. Matthew, you still watching? Out there in Australia, mate? Or are you about playing with your pet kangaroo manning the grill that has shrimps on it being barbecued? Chasing a wallaby. Time to check the emails. <laughs> Oh, man. I love it. TSP Furniture? The heck's that? I just want to know if Gabriel's going to buy this knockout box or not. Gave one of these to Ryan last week, and he got a number to five. I think it was Mike Singletary Auto. I really got to find a way where people don't have to chat in text, man. There's got to be. I know there is. Like, I've seen it. There's little bubble windows up, and people are chatting, like with their video cameras. Not everyone may want to do that, but. Most likely the Strangler. Straggler. This bad boy. Whoa, don't wait too long because after these breaks, still going to rip Heather's unless she wants to push it tomorrow night. I'll gladly do it for you, Heather. They're right here. It's up to you. I could mark them for you and we can do them tomorrow night if it's getting late. I'll mark them because they're special. Don't want to change it up. There's my boy Shalik. Tony Romo, cowboy number one. Snags are on the Barbie. It is three to one. Grammy has one. Uh oh. Three to two. Jason Witten. It's a shiny glossy. Some of them are flat matte like a gypsy queen, and then these are glossy. Three to two. One more, and we're tied. And got all those cards to go. Mock. This guy was kind of good. Uh-oh, Mock. There's three. We are tied. One more Cowboys, and, and Grammy brings it home with a silver pack. Is he a Cowboy? No, nah, he's college. It's got to be a Cowboy. He is a Cowboy. I guess he is. He's got a Zeke there, Grammy. I would say Grammy won that with that Zeke. There's going to be another Cowboy in here anyway. Where's the hits? That's what I want to know. The heck? Franco. See, look. Randy White. They have Vegemite here. Aaron Burbridge. Number 49. Vegemite is vegetable freaking beans. 
or something weird. John Randall. Did he die? I feel like John Randall died. Troy Aikman. Man, lots of Cowboys in here, dude. Joseph Montana. So we have a goat, the greatest of all time. Probably ask 1,000 people, random people on the street. Hey, did you ever hear of Joe Montana? Wasn't he one of the greatest of all time? Oh, yeah, Joe Montana. I remember him. He just They just killed it in the 80s. Man, they were the most awesome team. That was one of his biggest passing years ever. 89 season. Then you can be like, okay, hey, you hey, ever heard of Troy Aikman? Who? Not really. Kind of like, I think he won a Super Bowl or so. But uh, yeah, man, Joe Montana. Michael Jordan, Joe Montana. Makes sense. Yeah. I mean, that's just a fact. There's a Dion. <sighs> I wish I had my music because I would totally be playing Men at Work right now. How about a Kitten Collections Grammy? Marcus Allen. I have been to that Hall of Fame building. That is a great... That's how I knew I was going to marry my wife. She surprised me one day. Half day at work. She goes, I got a surprise for you. Everything's done. We're getting in the car and we're going to the airport. I'm like, what? And she gave me this package and it was a trip to the Hall of Fame weekend. So I literally, literally, no exaggeration, went out, bought a ring, and married her. One ninety nine. In Hawaii at the Pro Bowl. That's when I proposed to, her, to Heather. A couple months later. <laughs> yeah, Mock, you get that Zeke and you're all fired up. You bought that UFC, Gabriel? The Straggler bought Mini? All right. Now, Grammy wins a silver. Grammy wins a silver. Malk. Mark, you get to pick. In my hand are three silvers. I'm going to shuffle them up. You are going to pick one. One, two, or three. Which will it be? One is on my left. One is on top. One, two, or three. He's gone with two. Well, you should have picked one because it was a fatty. So you got number two. And I'll throw in this one too. All right. Now here's my question, Mark. And then we're going to open the packs. Do you defer these two silvers to Grammy for his one silver? No, I mean he gets both silvers or and you get this pack. So you give Grammy these two and you get this one or do you want to keep your two? I'm pretty sure I know the answer to that. I may get Carter Kaboom's 
uh, specialty pack that he asks about all the time. Oh my God, Carter. You're getting one of the last ones. What is wrong with me? Oh, I play Let's Make a Deal, Gabriel. I just don't have my music right now because it's not working. I got game show music and everything, Gabriel. Let's Make a Deal. What's it going to be? Oh, who's your brother? All right, so I'm going to give these two silvers to Grammy. And you got a fatty. So everybody has fair packs. Gold, tops, Grammy has three, and you got a fatty. That's totally, completely fair. Here we go. Mock. I appreciate you all. Okay. It is a fat, chunky Trevor story. Not bad. Not shiny. Which they certainly can be. We have seen Trevor story and an Anthony Davis. Grammy, look at this. Three silvers, dude. What did Mock give up? Well, he gave up a freaking Bryce Harper. To 99. <laughs> Wish I had my sound effects. Henry Ellenson, boo. And... A Wiggins. Here you go, Carter. Um, Bryce Harper, yeah. Just had another walk-off home run the other night. The guy's really good. There you go, Carter Kaboom, a shiny Chris. 
Come on, auto, please, for all that is holy. Let me pull an auto for Carter Kaboom. There's a Byron Buxton. A Nolan Ariando. Oh, God. Still dope, though, an Aaron Judge. Whew. I'm telling you guys, I really get, like, the willies in my stomach when I see that because we pulled an auto of this. That's a good pack. Aaron Judge, Chris Bryant, Buxton, and Nolan Ariando. Uh, Ariando. Woo! Uh, an Ariando. Carter Kaboom. I <laughs> mine too, dude. <laughs> mine too. It really did. It really gave me like a willy in my stomach. Like, oh my God, that's going to be another auto judge. And then here you go, uh, Heather G. Um, Denning. Denning. Denning loves Harper. Oh, nice. John Wall to 50. Couldn't be Dak or Zeke now, freaking could it? But it's a nice card. She's probably like, who the F is John Wall? He's really good. John Wall, 2 of 50. Pulled the purple Zeke out of here before. You guys remember that? 